Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon, I'm running a procedure. This procedure, let me get it online for you. There I am in the corner. Here's the procedure. The question is, why did my SSD disappear from my system? Well, we're going to run this little troubleshooting procedure. I've already had it running for a little while here. How much time do I have left? Not on this computer. Stand by. Twelve minutes left, or about eleven fifty two left. So we're going to run through this procedure, and if the person keeps yelling at the door, well, they're just going to go to YouTube. So we'll go through this procedure, and once you connect your SSD to the computer via setup. Side connectors. That's the preferred method. Turn on the computer and simply wait for 20 minutes. Don't use the computer. And then you sh you're supposed to shut down the computer and disconnect the drive from the power connector for 30 seconds. Then you reconnect it and you do it again for another 20 minutes. And then after that, you're supposed to boot up normally to see if the, if the computer recognizes the drive. And then I want you to update the firmware. And I'm going to shut down the audio until this guy disappears. Okay, I think my friend left, so we'll continue with the voice and the video. On the left is the time remaining before I shut down the computer over here. And then I'm going to give myself five seconds to disconnect it. And then I'm going to start the timer. And when the timer is out, then I'll reconnect and power up again. Now I'll restart the 20 minute timer. Ten seconds, and you get to see me do it live. It is right here. Reconnect the SSD, the power, and power up again. Start the timer. Make sure this goes to setup. Okay, the, the SSD still is not present. Now we'll just go another 20 minutes. I'm going to step away now. Okay, back. Hope you guys didn't hear anything outside.
I'm going to turn off uh, the camera anyway, audio and video. Okay, well, we're dealing with a crucial M500. It's a 240 gigabyte drive. I think that's the capacity. I killed that a second ago. I probably have the latest version, it looks like. Currently downloading the 64 bit of this. I probably don't need it though. The server I'm getting this from did not report the size. Okay, there's no errors. And I'm going to hook it up to the computer. <laughs> Import. Import picture and video. Plenty of time to do that. Here's what I recorded a while ago. Here's our current status. Nothing is detected on port one, or what I report to the pod port one. Yet, there's an SSD hooked up there. So, Hopefully running this procedure will fix it. Otherwise, I'm out of SSD. DDT out. So, hopefully that will, uh, hopefully this procedure will fix this little problem. What's today? 21st. I don't need these. There's a photo of what I just took a video of. This one's out of focus. And that shows the current status, which is currently not good at all. Four minutes remaining before I try another power cycle. Bottom line is I'm going to do power recycles pretty much all day. And I'm probably going to increase the amount of time in between so I don't be bothered by stuff. But the write-up says you only have to do it twice and it should reappear on the, in the BIOS. I'll put it full screen on this path so you can see what's going on here. Still got three minutes remaining.
when the time comes, I'll do my thing. I'll be back. Okay, our time is almost up. If you want to blotch your ears, I'll uh, turn that down. Three seconds. back, reset that, and get ready to turn this off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Unplug this. Start the timer. See if you can see me. If it doesn't show up on this next pass, I just keep doing it. We're looking to see if it shows up on the uh, on that listing. Okay, we'll start the timer once we get it back on. Still not showing up. Another 20 minutes, please. Razzle Frazzle. DDT out. Yeah, I kind of figured. I was doing it wrong. I had the data connected to the cable or to the driver as well. It's supposed to be power only. So I'm starting again from scratch with the power, only the power connector attached to the drive. DDT out. I'm still waiting. Five minutes remaining on the first pass. Because as I said, I had to start over again from scratch. To do it correctly, the data cable cannot be connected to the SSD. Only power. If I recall correctly, one cannot RMA crucial products without calling them. We're going to enter the serial number of this SSD into that box. If it fails to cooperate on this, this is the first of the first 20 minute pass without the data connected. So we're going to go through the procedure. And if I, if I can't get it to work on the third pass, then I'm going to enter the serial number into that box on the website that website right or the actually it wants the product number material number I'll find it meanwhile I'll be back later and give you the result either way DDT out it's kind of late tonight but I want to give you a quick result. 
that SSD failed. In addition, I hooked up my other SSD, the Patriot, and it failed to boot into Windows 10 again. So, I hooked it up to the Asus computer and fixed it that way, and now it's working again. I guess the only way I can get that one updated is to take it through the Asus machine and have it fix whatever the boot element is. By, by when I use sysprep, it, I can activate it again. So, I hope you enjoy those useless videos I've made. Because there's still, there's still no solution. And as for crucial, I did uh, put in this data to the, the manufacturer's website. I put it in for an RMA, and we'll see what happens. But I need to see how much it costs to ship it out of here. My last SSD cost $45 to ship out. So, stay tuned for that. We'll see you tomorrow. DDT out.